This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. I get a tremendous number of voicemails and emails. I mean, when you live your life in public as I do, and you freely give of your email address and your voicemail number to the, to the internet, there's no way to just give it to the people who are fans or supporters or people who appreciate my message. When I give it out there publicly, the haters get it too. So the communication I get ranges from love and critique, which are all great, to hate and venom and, and just vile threats against myself, my, my children, my, my wife, my safety, my life. But some, <laughs> like what I'm going to play for you today, are just, wow, ah, this was from, I think, early last week. Uh, they listened to the podcast where we've been talking about trans rights being human rights. And on Google Voice, there's a transcript of the voicemail. And <laughs> I knew before I even clicked play what this guy's voice was going to sound like. I knew it. So I'm going to play this. Now, if you're sensitive to harsh language, I try to bleep. Sometimes I miss them, but anytime I say the F word, I try to bleep it. One, for monetization reasons and YouTube sensitivity. But also, I've been told many, many times by you in the audience that eh, it's unnecessary. We don't like it. Don't do it. I don't do that for the podcast, but for the YouTube Dollamore Daily Show, I do. It's, it's, it's sensitive enough. So anyway, um, so if you're sensitive to that, uh, mute or whatever. Just read the transcript while the video plays. Um, but this is an example of what we're dealing with with highbrow intellectual thinkers in the Republican Party. To his argument against trans rights being human rights are threatening me with rape and insulting my wife about being a parasite because she's not going to have children. Make it make sense. Uh, here... here here we go with this genius. I hear you homo-loving motherfuckers really think that women can be men. Tell me this, if I fuck you in the butt, buddy, you gonna be able to have a baby? We wanna find out. You got your woman over there saying she ain't gonna have no kids. She kinda just a parasite, right? She's producing nothing, just eating, eating and consuming. Y'all some wild transgender-loving weirdos. First of all, I will say plainly, again, I hear you homo loving motherfuckers. Really? Um, trans rights are human rights. You may not understand the issue, but th what they do, even if you believe it not to be a real thing, they're not impacting your life. It doesn't matter. They have the rights and liberties and equal protection under the law to live their life as they see fit. And you would think that a Republican, ostensibly a Christian, would be on board for this, to live your life unmolested by the government. Apparently not. Not what it uh, has to do with the culture war du jour, which right now is trans rights. Secondly, I don't know that this particular individual, this brain trust in human form, understands that if you someone in the butt <laughs> uh that's not going to result in a pregnancy for anybody maybe you didn't learn that see conservatives are so appalled and up in arms about sex ed being taught in schools maybe it would benefit them that that type of sexual intercourse doesn't result in pregnancy for anybody but secondly all of the, the bizarre insults, and, and look, I'm a guy who appreciates a good insult. Trust me, if you've watched me for any time at all, you know, I'm free with the name calling. I'm okay with it. But at least be creative. At least make up something that is, uh, that is uh, entertaining or, 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 again, creative. I've I've referred to myself many times as an out-of-work Jim Gaffigan stunt double. You could at least do that. You could at least repeat one of the names I've called myself, you hillbilly. You ignorant, hateful clown shoe. 
Anyway, more entertaining than anything. This stuff, this is water off of a duck's back. This does not bother me in the slightest. This does not even affect my, my, my wife in the slightest. Nobody is affected by this. It's idiots, uh, third grade educated cousin fuckers like this guy who believe he's getting under my skin. All it is is an opportunity to make content, brother. <laughs> anyway, uh, what do you think? If you are a hater and you'd like to leave me a voicemail, the number is 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I would love nothing more than for you to call me. Follow me on social media. I get a lot of hate there too. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And if you are not this guy and you don't want to hate me, I should be bleeping that too. Reminder, when I'm editing this later, bleep that so YouTube doesn't age restrict, which by the way, they're on a tear lately. Any talk about the murder, the killing, alleged murder uh, of, of Jordan Neely, it's age restricted and demonetized. We did a video on the podcast about, now I'm far afield here, but we did a video on the podcast talking about this retired or former San Francisco um, fire commissioner who was bear spraying homeless people. And then one of the homeless people beat him w w in retaliation, in self-defense. And that video got age restricted and demonetized when there's, anyway, it's uh, the whining of a YouTuber. Uh, thank you guys. I appreciate you. If you want to support my work, help produce my work, click the join button below, become a channel member um, or go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.